All right, now, do not stall. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, isn't it? and you've ridden your R1, so yeah. it's so easy to uh, to ride that R1, yeah. so 2015. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I was going to fucking burn out. <laughs> What is going on, guys? We have a very, very special motor vlog for you today. We have Oi Dirt filming this. Woo-hoo! And we have, of course, myself, Chase Gaffer down. Now, here's something that you guys don't really know about. I have extreme anxiety when it comes to my motorcycle. I have an OCD that is just weird. And uh, none of you probably have this, but that's okay. That makes me unique. And I like me. Because I'm awesome. However... <laughs> Uh, I don't like people touching my bike or sitting on my bike, let alone even, like, looking at it. I have talked it over with myself and the voices in my head, and we've all agreed that it would be okay for Ori Dirk to ride my R1. And, and I am eternally grateful and scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the third butt that's been on this bike, right? Yep. And I am not. Oh. <laughs> oh. Getting wood. like to be Chase Jasper Dad. That's right. Wow. That is twitchy. It is very, and that's in standard. That's not even an A mode. <laughs> so how's the Beamer feeling? Oh my God. <laughs> there is no substitution for a straight inline. Yep. Oh, and there's no engine brake on this thing at all. No, wow. there isn't. I mean, it, I get up on this and it's like, Ugh, Yeah. <laughs> This is a this is a rider bike, man. It, it, you tell what you tell the bike what you want it to do. I love that. Yeah. My bike pretty much just tells you what it's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely a different feel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this thing is so easy to throw into the turn. Yeah. I think this is lighter actually than my bike. Really? Yeah. Oh, your blinker's on. My blinker's there. Your you blinker's go. on. Yeah. Turn my blinker off. <laughs> oh, this bike is amazing. This one is fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, dude. And oh. it, it is a beast, man. This is. Oh, my. You're going to be a man with balls and hair <laughs> in your chest to ride this thing. <laughs> Why? Look, I like my, my little mustache or beard or goatee or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It grew because I bought that bike. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't grow any facial hair before I bought that bike. Oh, my God. You're right. This bike is in control. You're just, you're just holding on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I feel I'm not manly enough to ride this motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> i got to grow some more chest hair or something. Can I just say that my ass looks sexy as hell? Ah. <laughs> I love my ass on that bike. Oh, your ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, your ass is sexy, too. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. This is so fucking twitchy. I love how linear your power is. It is. It's, it's very linear. This is power? Oh, my God. Or <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, stops with the kickstand down or holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever actually felt sophisticated on a motorcycle before, but, like, I feel sophisticated. You feel, you feel like the Baron? I do. I feel yeah. like the Baron. Yeah. Wow, this is actually a high-rev machine, too. It is. Yeah. like much is. You don't really feel it until after about 8,000. Yep. See if you can get the uh, front wheel up. Why, on this one? Yeah. I trust you. All right. Let's back off a little bit. Let's see. Where am I? All right. So, 43rd gear. Get away from the pot. So, those things. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It, it can do it. In third gear, too, at 40, man. Mine doesn't do that. This one's so much easier to wheelie. Oh, my God, I don't need to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't stop saying that. Like, uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is going to be the title of the video. <laughs> Oi, Dirk, plus R1 equals, equals... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love the riding position on this one as well. Um, it's so much more com comfortable, I guess. Yeah, it is. It, I guess that's the right word. It's so linear. I just, I'm, I'm baffled by the uh, linearity. By the, the power. Yeah, it's like you can pretty much ride this however you want. This yeah. is seriously like you tell the bike what to do. Yeah. 
This is like a samurai sword. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not careful, it'll cut your arm off. Yes, sir. You got to respect the R1, that's for yes. sure. Now, it's going to be interesting getting on the 15 now, now that I know what this feels like and feeling the difference. Right. That should be part of this video. We should just go out for another loop. This is going to, you're right, this is going to be an interesting experience. I think the exact so. same model, one year apart. Uh, well, three years technically, but they okay. didn't change anything from 2012 yep. to 2014. Wow. Clutch here is so much more forgiving. I told you. That was the first thing I noticed, man. That's the biggest difference is that clutch. Engine sounds the same, though. It does. And now, Richard rides his new R1. <laughs> All right. So part two. Part two, 2015 R1. All right. First impression. The seat is a board with cloth on it or vinyl on it. Yeah. Holy shit. There is no... No cushioning. Yeah. <laughs> Second impression. The uh, clutch is not a kamikaze knife. <laughs> it will cut your balls off <laughs> if you slip. I think yours has a little more aggressive braking. Yeah. I noticed this when I first rode it. You, I, as a, even compared to that, I have to stomp on the rear brake a lot more. Right, right. Yeah, letting out that clutch, I bet it's so oh, much Oh, yeah. Care. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's Brand new tires. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You, you haven't even hit 100 miles on no. that thing, right? <laughs> I, I can feel it right over that uh, white line. Yep. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go around this guy. I think that's a great idea. We have leader bikes. We can do it. Yep. Oh, my God. The pull at 8,000 on this thing is amazing. You know, this actually... The, the linear power band on this BMW, I know we're talking about the 2015 R1, but I just got to say this, uh, from when a uh, Ninja 1400 rider let me use his DX14 at Deals Gap, mm -hmm. this feels like the same power. Oh, wow. I mean, the ZX14, uh, like, like I said, when it first came out, the slogan was, your little sister could do 8.9 and a quarter. Yeah. It was that easy to drive. It definitely is. And this feels like that power, like the, uh, the, the ease and comfort of of rolling on the throttle. Not for real though, now I understand the hype of this BMW. Really? I really do. I'm I'm just blown away by this bike. My back is already starting to hurt. My ass is already starting to hurt <laughs> from this board that I'm sitting on. All right, so final consensus is uh, the 2012 is more comfortable, but uh, a lot more evil. Oh, it's just it's fucking, it's the devil. <laughs> the devil with a samurai sword. That's right, all and right. And oh, my BM God. And the, and, oh, my God. Yeah. And the BMW is very sophisticated. Yes, it makes it, it makes you want to have a cup of, uh, what, what, what do sophisticated Germans drink? Uh, beer. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this ridiculously crappy review of three different motorcycles today. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're, paid, we're paid professionals. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're YouTube famous. No, that's okay? true. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're kind of a big deal. Yeah, I, I, I decided that, uh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you keep telling me that. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Hey, if you, if you say it enough, you just start believing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. You keep doing what you're doing. We are out. Later.